In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own GIFs right inside of Adobe After Effects. And I'm gonna show you how to export those and upload those to your Instagram story. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start inside of Adobe After Effects. And once we're inside of After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll select new composition. We can rename this to GIF1. Make sure the width is 1080, the height is 1080, the pixel aspect ratio is square pixels, frame rate can be 23.976, and we want to set the duration to, let's say three seconds. Then we'll press OK on that. And once you're inside of After Effects with this brand new composition created, we can go ahead and we can just add whatever we like to this. So we can add some footage and rotoscope a person out of the footage. We can add some text. It's completely up to you. But just to keep this nice and simple for this video, I'm just going to use some text. So select the T icon, select the middle, and we can go ahead and type out whatever we want. So let's do subscribe change the color of this to red. We'll change the font and we'll decrease the size of this. Now I'm just gonna go into effects and presets, go into animation presets. We'll go text and we'll go ahead and we'll select any one of these. So let's do curves and spins, drop bloom flower onto that. And as you can see, it's going to do this really weird animation in, but it's fine. It's fine for now. You want to go ahead and toggle the toggle transparency grid button. And as you can see, this is going to be a GIF because there is no background. It's really important there isn't a layer behind this because you want this to be a transparent layer. So once you've created your GIF, we're going to leave it at that for now. We can go to composition, add to render queue. And inside of the add to render queue, we've got a few settings that we need to change. So we'll go into render settings, best settings, select best, resolution full, and everything else is fine there. Into output module, we'll select lossless, select the format to QuickTime, select channels, RGB and alpha, depth, millions of colors plus, and then everything else is fine. Then of course we need to output this to somewhere. So select the output and we'll just put this in this folder here. We'll rename this GIF1 and select render. And now we can go ahead and open that in Adobe Photoshop. So we'll go into the finder, search for GIF1, and then you want to go ahead and you want to open this inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, once we're inside of Adobe Photoshop, you just want to first make sure that this is perfectly exported. So if we play this back, we can see the animation is exactly how we made it in After Effects. So from here, we'll go File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. And inside of this menu, we want to go ahead and change the preset to GIF128 Dithered. We want to make sure this is GIF, not JPEG, PNG, or any of these, select GIF. This can be selective, diffusion will select. Now this is the most important one and that is the transparency box. If we deselect this, it will export with a background. But if we select this, it will export with a transparent background and that is what we need. So once you've done this, you can go ahead and you can press save. And you can save this to wherever you want. So I'm just gonna save that in the same folder as before. And Photoshop will go ahead and export that GIF for you in a matter of a few seconds. Now, if you're on a Mac ecosystem, then all you need to do is just airdrop that file from the computer to your phone, and it will instantly be in your camera roll. But if it's not, then you might need to email it to yourself or use Dropbox to upload it and re-download it to your phone. But either way, we need to get this file to your phone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna airdrop this to my phone. So we'll right click, share, airdrop, and that should come over to my phone in a matter of seconds. And now all we need to do once we've got that GIF on the camera roll is we just need to select this button in the bottom left, select copy, go back onto Instagram, take a picture, and then you just want to create some new text. And then in the new text, you just want to paste that GIF in, and there you go. That GIF has now perfectly imported 
into Instagram. It's a really fun and really handy trick and it's a great way to add character to your Instagram stories. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you feel like you learned something, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.